You rockin' with DJ Bootleg. The Prince of Tampa. Slip and Slide DJs. DJ. Yeah, buddy. My 60-gallon cube. Looking boss. With the new light. I'm loving it. The blue LEDs. Very nice. Very happy with it. But... I'm not even, that's not even the topic of the video. The topic of the video today is Shane Church. His um, contest entry today is the last day to do it. I've been meaning to do it for, I don't know, man, ever since the first day he announced it. Um, but, you know, I've just been busy and, and you know, uh, it's not on my top priority. You know, I've been, I've been, you know, thinking of it every day of like, oh, maybe this, maybe that, but contemplating and brainstorming, but I finally got it, and you know what, to be honest, I lost track of time, like, I thought today was the 7th, to be honest with you, it turns out it's the 9th, well, it's the 10th right now, because it's after midnight, but without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys what my dream tank would be, so, my dream tank would be this. First, let me tell you, I uh, contemplated this, like I said, for a few days, uh, ever since you first started the, the, you know, topic or the contest. Um, you know, man, I was thinking of going like crazy, going 2,000 gallon, you know, that's what a lot of people do, but me personally, I would do, um, well, first, um, I'm going to tell you what it is, and then afterwards I'm going to tell you why I chose that and the science behind it, you know, and all that crap. Um, so, it would be a 500-gallon tank, okay? Um, and uh, hopefully this isn't just a dream tank. Hopefully I can get it eventually. Uh, but, you know, right now I'm in an apartment. I got six tanks, and that's probably about my maximum. <laughs> but uh can't fit in a 500-gallon in here, that's for damn sure. But, so, 500-gallon tank, right? It'd be a cube. I don't know if they make them in just, you know, long, but it'd be like a cube like the one you see behind me. Um, but the top, the top's where I'm going to layer it. Top, middle, top, and bottom. Oh, which is, you know, what you're supposed to do, but a lot of people don't do that. But once you get into the big fancy fish, it's, like, kind of important to, be, to do everything just right. It's not like you get 99 cent goldfish, you know. But, um, yeah, for the top, I would definitely do about five, um, Arowanas, hopefully I'm saying that right, silver arowanas. These are awesome fish. Every time I go to my LFS, I'm always mesmerized by them. When he gets them in, I'm like, yo, that's so cool, you know. But uh, none of my tanks are adequate enough to own one. That's why I never had one. So um, get five of those. Those, you know, stay near the top. They're really active swimmers and stuff is what I read. Um, for the middle, I would get... Um, Probably about five to six um, tin foil barbs, as well as five to six um, silver dollars. Sorry, I blanked out there for a second. <laughs> um, it's late, man. Like I said, I've been busy. Anyway, um, and uh, those are my two set in stones. That's what I would definitely get. Um, but. Uh, I would probably mix it up because this is 500 gallons, so I could fit a lot of fish in there. So um, I'd probably throw in some some form of cichlids, African cichlids, or you know some other type of cichlid. Uh, the ones that get you know good seven or eight inches. Um, just because, uh, well, I'll tell you why later. Um, I get a, I don't know, maybe five to six of those just to see the compatibility and whatnot. But um, then for the bottom is um, I'd probably get about four to five clown loaches uh, for like the bottom feeder area, and uh, I would get the, the the ones that are decently sized and matured, not young ones. Um, probably about the ones that are like seven or eight inches somewhere around there. Um, and uh, for the algae, definitely get a Picosimus, probably about a seven or eight inch one, whatever, like a foot, whatever, because uh, you can never go wrong with a Picosimus, boy. Those are those like universal fish. <laughs> um, let's see, I think that's about it. 
Oh, and also I'd probably get some form of catfish. Like the big catfish with the big mouths, even the wide mouths with the big long whiskers and stuff. I'd probably get that too. One of those. I don't really know the name of that, so you gotta excuse me. Alright, and now for the science behind it, if you will. The logic behind it. Oh, wait. First, I would also have uh, a ton of live plants, and I would layer them in which it would be, you know, like I would have the real tall swords in the back, like I'm doing with this tank. The real long plants, and then I'd have the medium plants, and then I'd have the small, like, crypts or something like that up in the front. And uh, the substrate would be uh, sand. I'm starting to get the whole kick of the sand thing. I uh, changed my African cichlid tank to uh, 55 gallon to, uh, from gravel to sand. I have a video of that if you want to check that out. Um, I just think sand looks a lot more natural and a lot, you know, it's cooler and cleaner. Uh, the lighting, I would probably do LEDs, like the one you see behind me. Um, I, I'm, I love LEDs. This is my first tank with LEDs. I'm really happy with it. Um, I wouldn't really go with the whole, you know, bulbs or anything like that. I mean, I'm not for sure about that. I would probably do the LEDs. Um, yeah, that's about it for what I put in the tank. So, uh, now for the science part. Or the logic part, whatever. Uh, I, the reason why I chose 500 gallons is because I feel that um, 500 gallons is manageable, but it's not... It's big. It's big to the point where people walk in and like, dang, that's a big tank. But it's also small enough to be manageable as well. So, um... You know, like you can go a thousand gallons or two thousand gallons. Because I see a lot of people doing it in contests like this. Uh, it's just, it's just, you know, you gotta freaking become a scuba diver just to do a pulse of water change and clean the gravel. You know, so I think five hundred gallons is good. Anything above that kind of gets into the, uh, you know, I gotta kind of hire somebody to do it or whatever. But um, I already told you why I like the sand. Uh, the LEDs is I already told you why. Um, Arowanas is because they're top swimmers. Like I said, I wanted to layer it. And also, they're just awesome fish. They have a lot of personality from, from what I saw. They get big. They get fill the tank very nicely. Um, tin foil barbs and the silver dollars. They're cool fish. They don't get huge, but they're like nice and tall and not really wide, but you know, just tall. And um, they couldn't really fit in Arowana's mouth, so they probably wouldn't wouldn't get in any trouble. Uh, cichlids, cichlids are always cool. They always have beautiful coloring. Uh, also, they're they're kind of like aggressive, but they don't really, you know, in a big tank like that, there I don't think there'd be any aggressive issues. Also, they get big too, so they wouldn't fit in air on his mouth. And the clown loaches, because I need a bottom feeder, and uh, they get pretty decent size. They're semi-aggressive, but uh, they also have really cool markings on them. That, you know, like the zebra type thing. Uh, catfish. Catfish are awesome. You know, uh, every time I go into the uh, LFS, I always see this huge catfish. He's got it on the ground, in like a, a tank on the ground. It's, it's awesome. I don't know what it's called or anything, but um, also for the bottom. And the Cosmos, like I said before, they're universal fish. They deserve to be in any tank, any size tank, except for like a 10 gallon. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, that's about it, guys. I mean, Appreciate the love. Appreciate you guys watching. Shout out to Shane Shirts. Check out his videos. Uh, even if I don't win, it's all good, baby. Um, I just I just like talking about fish tanks. That is a good good topic. Probably gonna do the same once I get to you know about 500 subscribers. So hit the subscribe button. I will leave you with my beautiful cube. Look at this. Look at that, man. Look at these good fish in there. Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. And, um, yeah, God bless. Got ten bags of sand. I'm going to be transferring this tank to a sand.